small but mighty and fueled by prayer. Father, the Son, a limited number of pro-life advocates marching in Washington, D.C. The 48th annual March for Life held virtually this year because of the pandemic and safety reasons stemming from the Capitol riots. Although separated by physical distance, together we are united in you. Archbishop Joseph Nauman speaking of God. Attendees inspired by stories like Florida politician Representative Kat Kamak. Her mother chose life after doctors urged her to abort, fearing the pregnancy would harm her health. Her bravery and courage in the face of this difficult decision led to my passion for standing up for the rights of the innocent and the unborn. Christian Rada, the director of marriage, family formation, and respect life education at the Diocese of Brooklyn, was one of those who joined virtually. He marched for the past 10 years. To him, seeing the large amount of people tuned in virtually was powerful. I was there in a sense spiritually, like that with all of these people hearing this message of that we're all pro-life. A message that's especially important in New York, often called the abortion capital of America. The state sees over 80,000 abortions, over 50,000 in New York City alone. That's according to the Susan B. Anthony List, a nonprofit that seeks to end abortion. Pro-life advocates say spreading the pro-life message nationally is crucial right now as the country has seen a recent change in power. As they begin the earliest days of their administration, let's tell them that every life matters from the moment of conception. During the march, lawmaker Representative Chris Smith spoke directly to President Joe Biden. In your words that the dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer or to have any true meaning, the lives of unborn children must be included and their precious lives must be protected. The message from Representative Smith and other speakers was clear. No matter who is in the White House, the fight for life must remain strong loud and passionate. Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.